Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn and Bed. Thank you as always so much for being here. I am currently, well, you're not watching this live, but right now I'm live with some patrons and we're gonna do a live watch along tonight to Adventures in Babysitting. We have Patreon movie trivia nights and it's trivia based on movies I watched on the channel. And our winner this year was the second time winner, so we went to our second place and he got to choose five movies for me that I haven't not seen. Then I chose what to watch from his list of five, but this time we put it as a poll and the winner was Adventures in Babysitting followed by Thelma and Louise, which I hope to get to one day. Okay, so Adventures in Babysitting. This is an 80s movie. Elizabeth Shue, who I kind of remember as the replacement girlfriend in Back to the Future. And I feel like it looks like she's some kind of like superhero babysitter or something from the cover. I babysat a lot as a young teenager so I think this will be fun. I wonder if I can relate at all and that's really all I know about it. Kind of feels like it's gonna be kid heavy which is always fun like a coming of age thing or Goonies type vibe so I'm really excited. Okay if you want to join Patreon and do things like trivia nights and polls and full length watch-alongs, stuff like this, check out Patreon here. Don't forget to like if you like this movie, or if you don't, subscribe if you're new here. Okay, let's watch a show. actually amazing. The 80s seemed fun. The fashion, the hair, the lack of social media. I mean, don't get me wrong, social media can be a beautiful thing, but it is hard sometimes. See, now people just do these dances on camera in the <laughs> Okay, so someone just told me on here that this is the same director as Home Alone. And what was the other one? Tonight is going to be the greatest night of your life. Hi. Hi, Chris. I'm a little bit overdressed. That's, that's, that's Josh. You gotta cancel. <gasps> my little sister got sick and my parents are going out tonight. Well, um, I could come over and help out. No, you don't want to be there. She's contagious. I don't, I don't want you to get sick. First two Harry Potters, that's right. You're upset about tonight, aren't you? Well, yeah, a little. But I understand. He better be freaking telling the truth, that's all I have to say. Well, contagious. Josh Lyman? He's lying. I don't know why you're making such a big deal about him. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. <gasps> He's the only thing that's ever happened to you. I'm just in a really bad mood. My parents are driving me crazy. My stepmom is such a pain. Chris? Hi, Brenda. Hi. Hi, Mom. Chris, Aww. that was Mrs. Anderson on the phone. She wants to know if you can babysit for her tonight. No, tell her I can't. Because I want to stay home and be depressed. Oh, Mrs. <gasps> I'm too old to babysit. Sometimes you know what you're looking for. How old is she? 16, 17? I can't wait to meet the kids. Guess what? <laughs> Mama's gonna kill you when she catches you wearing your skates in the house. Wait, he Mom looks so Chris familiar. For me. Chris? Oh my god. Chris, Chris is coming. Sarah, would you get out of the way? Chris is coming. He has a crush on her. I'm really sorry about the short notice. I'm glad I could help out. Sarah. Sarah. Oh. She loves Thor. Me too, Sarah. I ran out of brown. How am I supposed to cover up my zits? What do you think? I figured it's my best one yet. Look, I got the sun rays and the cape. You wasted all my clarisol on another picture of Thor. Thor's my hero. Oh. Thor's a homo. <laughs> take back what you said about Thor. No. If you don't take it back, I'll tell Chris about all those love poems you write about her. All right, all right, Sarah. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Boy, you look great. 
I mean, really, your hair, your eyes. What about them? They're so well placed. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is a really cool coat. <laughs> this is my grandpa. He's got great taste. He's dead. <laughs> he tosses it into the hallway. We're going to be at a reception at the Associate Center. I'm going to leave this right here with you. I thought there was three kids in the. Nope, just, oh yeah, three kids. Now Brad is going to be staying with his friend Daryl's tonight, so you don't have to worry about him. This one is just getting over a very bad cough. I want her to take some of this spoonful in about an hour and then another spoonful before she goes to bed. It's going to have zits all over your face. Mom. Mom. Now we should be home by one. Take good care of my baby. I'll guard her with my life. Why don't, people don't dress up and go to fancy things like that anymore enough. This must be the third child. That's why I'm sleeping here tonight. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Did you get her clothes off yet? Don't be crude. Now get back. Oh, don't be crude. Wait, you gotta see this month's Playboy, because there's this girl in it, and she looks exactly like Chris. She's got these humongous... <laughs> <laughs> Who is at the door? Stray dog. Are you going to go to college? Maybe it's Mike. Oh, yeah, sure. Chris! Brenda, what's wrong? Oh, Chris, I'm in trouble. What? I ran away from home. Where are you? I'm at the bus station downtown. I need help. If I take a cab to the Andersons, do you think you can pay for it? Brenda, that's going to be like $40. Well, can you pick me up? My dad doesn't know. He'd kill me if he found out. Oh, Brenda. Chris, please hurry up and get here. Brenda, I've got my mom's car. I can't drive it into the city. <gasps> oh, my God. There's a man with a gun. What? Don't move. I'll be there in half an hour. Do we, do we call the police? Brenda? Why does he have a gun? Listen, guys, I gotta go downtown. Brad, will you please watch Sarah? No way. I will be gone an hour there and Wait. back. Wait. <sighs> okay? My mom is paying you good money to watch me. Why can't we just all go? Because. No, yeah, you can't leave them if you're babysitting. They'd die if they found out you left me here alone with him. Well, who's gonna tell them? Anybody have to go to the bathroom? Nope. Road trip? Jesus. <laughs> The city? Sarah. Hey, can I go? No, Daryl, go home. You must be a great babysitter. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson must really trust you to take little kids into the city. I'm going to get my mom to talk to the Andersons about you. Oh, stop it. And then maybe you can babysit for me. Blackmail, Larry. Daryl. <laughs> Daryl, will you just get in the car? All right. And the adventure begins. Mike what? What's his last name? Toddwell. Mike Toddwell? Do you know him? They go out. He's got a red Camaro, right? A lot of people have Camaros. Yeah, but do a lot of people have the license plate? So cool. <laughs> so cool. He kicked my ass. You want to see the footprint? No. Oh. Look, that's where Thor lives. All the superheroes live in the city. She would have loved Chris Hemsworth. So the babysitter goes upstairs. And the sound keeps getting louder. The babysitter stops at the kid's room. Sweat pours down her... It does look like her. And the kids are safely in their beds. <sighs> I'd like to be safely in her bed. What are you guys doing back there? Uh, um, uh... Nothing, nothing at all. See, when the babysitter looks more closely at the kids... They don't have any faces! Oh, my God! Ooh, yeah! The babysitter, she screams and she turns to run. <laughs> <laughs> And the hook goes to the babysitter's face. Scream! Scream! Great! Go over! Which way? To the right! To the right! Go to the right! <laughs> this is not funny! Hey, why is he laughing at it like that? <laughs> this is great! Daryl! Shh! Oh, this movie is reminding me of another life skill I need to learn how to change a tire. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so familiar. Who is Brad? Okay, we are gonna flag somebody down and we'll go buy a tire. My purse. I forgot my purse. I don't have my license. Did you forget your purse? Yes, you little asshole. No cell phones. Hi, hi, hi. Here. Really? What, 50 cents? I don't have any money. You're a kid, for Christ's sake. Don't tell mom the babysitter is dead. I didn't see that. I didn't I haven't seen the rookie. Everybody stay behind me. A good Samaritan? Your kid's having some trouble. You got a spare? No. You went out an expressway without a spare? <laughs> ah! What do you want? Just want to help you. He just wants to scrape our faces off. What, you scared of this? 
<laughs> do we trust him? I think we do. I'm usually wrong, though. <laughs> oh! I suddenly feel like a total idiot. I'm really sorry for freaking out back there. I guess we just kind of overreacted. It's okay, I'm used to it. Listen, I appreciate this, but see, we don't have any money. I'll tell you what, I'll tow you to town, to Dawson's garage, and I'll buy you a tire. My treat, okay? <laughs> My name's Chris. Handsome John Pruitt. <laughs> He's nice. What did they do with the hand? I kept it. You kept it? I got it over in the glove compartment. <laughs> I just went by your place. Well, what did you see? That car was parked in front. She's with that bastard again. Wait. <laughs> do we like Pruitt? What's going on? Stop, Mr. Pruitt, please. Oh, God! What? Is it a hand? No. Oh, good. It's a gun. Oh, God! There's kids in the car. Are we really gonna do a shootout right now? Can we do that again? Taking a turn. Was that guy trying to steal the car while they got in it? You saved our lives. Chris. Yeah? Um, he's a car thief. This is a stolen car. No. The chick is losing it. You guys want some candy? Brad, no chocolate. Your acne. Sarah, <gasps> time for your cough syrup. Babysitter mode. She's definitely losing it. I am still in control here. Got it? Would you please take us to the next corner and drop us off? In this neighborhood, I wouldn't even get out of the car. In this neighborhood. Oh. Y'all come with me. I got a little business to take care of, all right? Do you promise me you won't hurt these kids? Yeah, I promise you. I don't know who to trust here. I thought I trusted the tow truck driver, and then he's just flinging shots, almost hitting them. <laughs> Worst Uber ever. <laughs> They're gonna change it all up. Some people aren't gonna like that they've seen this place. Did you steal all of these cars? Yeah, it gets me some good money. You should try babysitting. We have to get our car to Dawson's garage. Relax, relax, everything's gonna be okay. Good job, got any defects? Yeah, a few. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad Anderson. Nice to meet you. This is my sister, Sarah. This is Chris Parker. And that's that's my best friend, Daryl Cooper Smith. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we sort of took a wrong turn somewhere, and uh, mm -hmm. we like to get out. <laughs> hey, 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 they got in the car while I was stealing it, man. They know where our operation is. They could go to the cops. No, we wouldn't go to the cops. They just want to go home. Hey, we can put it in writing, huh? Everybody would sign it. Yeah. We can take it to a notary. Shut get it up. We take to a notary. Don't worry, we'll get home. This has all just been a big mistake. What about Brenda? That was her parents' mistake. Ouch. <laughs> Look at those individual TVs. <sighs> oh, poor Brenda. Kind of like us. We're really in trouble. I mean, we're gonna die here. No, we're not. Oh, no. I mean, look at that. You could poke your eyes out. They might poke our brains out. I didn't like the way they've been running things. Cleveland is dead. I don't know about this. Mm-mm. They're gonna do it, aren't they? Out of that window. You gotta be me. Watch your mouth. Watch my mouth? Oh. oh my gosh. Oh no. I would be hugging it. You know? Crawling. Mm. 
I don't know ever ask me to babysit again. If they do, I'd ask them for a buck more an hour. <laughs> that was so, he was so sincere. Well, they went for ice cream. They're okay. Chris can handle it. Sarah's probably hanging from the rafters by now. Gotta look at your feet though, right? <gasps> Hi, yeah, you got your hands sweaty? Where's the magazine? I uh, took the Playboy upstairs. Cool. Get it. Why do they want the Playboy? Hurry up. Sarah, hold on. Oh my gosh. Her hammer. One BMW. It's uh, not up there. I think the kids got it. Get it back from them. They're not up there either. They got away. Hey, you get the car! Here. Get the car. Gotta get that magazine back. It's got all my notes for the Philadelphia order. That could put us away for 20 years. Oh. And they have no idea that they just stole that. We didn't mean to interrupt your little concert here. If you don't mind, we'd just like to let ourselves off Nobody the stage. Nobody gets out of this place without singing the blues. <laughs> you want me to sing? Sing, sing, sing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Awkward turtle. <laughs> yeah, I could not. Um, my name's Chris Parker. <laughs> I live in Oak Park. <laughs> that's a suburb. They probably figured that out. This is Brad, Sarah, and Daryl. And we're in trouble. And my boyfriend, Mike. Tonight's our anniversary. But then he went and canceled. Now I'm stuck watching these three. And it's so hard. And it's so hard. <laughs> I got this call from Brenda. I went to pick her up. She's getting into it. Guys started to chase us. Y'all got hijacked. Cruising down the highway. This big old Cadillac. And it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Baby. Blue, baby, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some guys are out to get us. And Brenda's probably dead. We ain't got a nickel. And they should be in bed. And you out of luck. Watching these guys. <laughs> baby, sitting blues. Baby, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I like that guy. I Where's the bad guys? I want them to see him and point him out, and then it's like a hundred versus two. Baby, 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 baby. That was awesome. That was such a good scene. <laughs> Nobody leave this place without singing the blues. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't know you were so cool. I did. I did. <laughs> he loves her so much. I didn't really know you until tonight. I knew you were pretty. I mean, you are pretty. Is that your dad's building? Uh, yeah. You're more than just that, though. You're kind of smart, too. I think we should turn ourselves in. The point is, um, I don't know what the hell you're doing with Mike Toddwell. What? Brad, it's none of your business. I just think you should give other guys a chance. <laughs> like who? <sighs> like me? Oh, she said it. <laughs> I do uh, admire his confidence. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to Forget it. Chris, look where Daryl is. They can't be more than, like... Two years apart. I have tons of time. Oh boy. She's too old for you. How old are you? I'm 17, so am I. Uh uh. I ran away from home. Brenda, come on. Oh, Chris, why aren't you here? She really can't see. Oh. Oh. Here, kitty, kitty. What's it gonna be? What's the matter? You got lost? Please, no. Put the animal down. We're gonna kill it. What? Why would you want to kill a poor defenseless little kitten? <laughs> It's a jumbo size sewer rat. <sighs> so did they sing the blues though? I want you to tell me all about those kids. Where you found them, where they came from. I don't know anything, you know? You know something. What did they tell him? They uh they gotta get the car. We'll get to it first. Sarah, honey, I think you should lay down and get some sleep. I'm not tired. <laughs> 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 
dear heavens. They can't catch a break. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so classic. We'll get off at the next stop. All the people gonna be getting off this here train are gonna be doing it in body bag. How you sound? Do they literally not see the children? Here comes Devereaux. Oh, excuse me. I was wondering if you could please just wait on that until we could get off the train. So now, <gasps> are you gonna let him get away with that? Wait a minute. I was kidding. Take it back. Apologize. <laughs> Brad, shut up. Hey, listen to the bitch, Brad. You big city scum sucker. Oh. <laughs> let me help. <gasps> Don't f with the lords of hell. Don't f with the babysitter. <laughs> Are his toes okay? The lords of hell. You okay? Oh, no, I can't feel anything. Don't touch it. Oh, oh, God, what are we gonna do with it? Take him to the hospital. Let's look at it first. What if he missed the toes? Doctor! Yeah, doctor. My friend was wounded in a gang fight. Hey, wait, that's that. Don't you get to stole my car. It's all coming together. Uh, those are hot dogs, right? Want one? Mm, yeah, I'd love one. That'll be two bucks. Check. Yeah, but it's a good check. I'll write the check over to you. You keep the difference, and I'll uh, take the hot dog. So you got a pen? Get out of here. Oh. There you are. One stitch, all better. One stitch? <laughs> Chris is gonna think I'm a total failure. The guy with the stab wounds just died. Oh dear. We're looking for a friend. A friend? Which one is he? Um, he's the one with the stab wound. Oh dear. I'm sorry. My oh no. Is dead. Dead? Oh, Chris! Sarah, what happened? Brad! Brad. <laughs> Daryl, why are you hugging me? Brad, don't you ever die on me. I had the worst nightmare. It's really happening. Some wow. night, huh? Now you're with children. Guys, this has like every trope and I'm here for it. The gang fights, the miss... <laughs> On the subway. Hey, you kids! Damn it! Mr. Pruitt! Babysitter! Your car, come on, stick, let's go! Oh my gosh. What time is it? I'm concerned about the parents getting home. Well, where's that car? I got the car at Dawson's garage. Dawson's gonna make you pay for the tire. How much? Uh, 50 bucks. Wait, 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 where are you going? I'm a fugitive now. Good luck, babysitter. Stop! Wait! Hold it right there! Maybe we should... Where are we gonna get 50 bucks? Maybe we could sell Daryl. We should ask the police for help. There's some bad guys chasing him. I gotta hold the bathroom. Just try and hold it, honey, okay? Sounds like a party. It is a party! Get back here! Sorry, can't talk, gotta run. Daryl? I mean, time gets to do! College party. I have to go in a minute. Live band, okay. I don't believe it. Well, who is it? Some high IQ kids? No, stupid, it's Miss March. He looks familiar to me, too. It is Miss March. What? This is amazing. Could you sign this? This is not me. What's your name? It's not Shailene. Who is that guy? Do you honestly believe a Playboy centerfold would have nothing better to do on a night like this? Thanks. Father of the Bride. That's it. I must be hallucinating. Does anybody else see a talking penis? <laughs> Do you know how the Playboy Unabashed Dictionary defines oral gratification? I do. In high school? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Prettiest girl at the University of Chicago is in high school. <laughs> oh, boy. Wanna dance? I don't have time. Come on, come on. She'll be in line for a couple minutes. You got time. And Dan. Dan Lynch. Dan, Dan, Dan. What happened to Mike Toddwell? Huh? So, uh, you're babysitting these kids? I don't think you could call what I've been doing tonight babysitting. <laughs> don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay. I think you're doing a great job. You've gotten the kids this far? You're still alive? <laughs> it could be a lot worse. It could be. Oh, poor Brad. All he cares about are the bears, the Bengals. What about the love, the romance? I care about those things. The romance. I'm so lonely. How could a righteous babe like you be lonely? That's the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> oh, honey. Wanna go to bed? Oh, I really have to go. Tell me what I can do to help. What do you need? I need $50. No problem. Wait right here. 
Be right back. He is getting us $50. That's terrific. Oh, boy. Uh, I can only get 45 Oh, no, that's great. Duane, what the hell are you doing? Oh, you're a dead kid. I didn't touch her. I'm just a child. Hey, lay off. He's just a kid, you big dumb bohunk. I'm driving. <gasps> He's going to help him. If Josh Lineman, or what's his name in here, Todd Well, if he was being honest, then I'll feel sad for him. But if he was not, then I kind of like Dan. Oh no, the bad guys are gonna be here. The car is fixed. Great, that's wonderful. Got some fast service. Why don't you go pay for the car, and uh, I'll wait out here and see that you get out okay. No, that's okay, we'll be fine. Okay, take care of yourself. All see right. you guys. Bye. Well, wait, uh... How am I gonna find you to pay you back? Don't worry about it. Maybe I'll see you again. Come on, Brad. Seems pretty cool, right? Right? Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Dawson? Is anybody here? Oh no. Mr. Dawson? <laughs> Mighty God of Thunder. Who is this kid? Um, Mr. Pruitt sent us. Uh, this is our car. You owe me 50 bucks. It's pretty good for a tire. You've been fighting the forces of darkness? Sorry, she thinks you're somebody else. It's him, Brad. It's really him. Don't listen to him anyway. He said you were a homo. <gasps> you spreading rumors about me, kid? It's this. There's $45 here. You owe me 50. That's all that we have. And you don't have a car. You owe me money. You give me five bucks, or you get out. Okay, you and the hot dog guy. Sheesh. I thought you always help people in trouble. This is the city. I don't help anybody but myself. But I Get a... lost! Wow. Wait, I know why you're not acting like yourself. You don't have your special helmet. You're supposed to be wearing this. Go on, take it. Come on, you giving Thor. This to me? Have a heart. Oh well, yeah, you're my hero. Here, take the car. Hey, kid, I got one of these at home. The other guys didn't beat them to it. Although Thor would have destroyed them. Okay, we can get Brenda home by one. That's Kingpin. That's that's the guy from Full Metal Jacket. Stop! <laughs> Mike was supposed to take me there tonight. Looks like he went without you. No. May I help you? Uh, we're just looking for somebody, thanks. Let's just go in and get him. Patience. Who is this guy? He sounds like, um, Palpatine. He dumps you for an easy chick and you get a night of hell. Mike, you sleaze. Girls like you come along once in a lifetime. Or twice in the same night. How's your sister? Is she all better? Well, uh... Don't lie! Chris is ten the times cuter than Jesus. her. Do you have any idea what I've been through tonight? I thought that, um, that you loved me. Look, little girl, I don't know what you thought. But it wasn't half as serious as you like to think it was. What? Like over. A. D. B. This kid's got more class at 15 than you'll ever have. You're such a loser. Here we go again. I can only dream of having somebody like Chris for a girlfriend. And you treat her like this? Don't waste your time, Half Pint. Her legs are locked together at the knee. <gasps> Pew! I'd love to hit you. I'd love to pound on your face. Yeah? Go ahead. You're not worth it. You're so slimy, I won't sink to your level. I will. Sarah? <laughs> Where is Sarah? Oh no. Come here for a second. She's a little girl. Ma, Dad. Her parents own that building? <gasps> so she's probably there. Come on. Oh my gosh. Someone said you can really see how you get from this to home alone. Yes. <laughs> I'll take this floor and you take the one above. Oh crap. Where's our driver? He would help us out. I'm not gonna hurt you. 
No. Guys, Sarah's in trouble. <gasps> Sarah! Get, get back here! Oh, boy. Jesus Christ. Hey! Come on back up here. Come on! Oh, my hands are literally pouring sweat. We'll try this one first. Oh, gosh. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. We're at my parents' party. Kid, stay right where you are. Don't move. I'm going out there to find Sarah. I'll see you. No, they won't. <laughs> Be right back with a coat, Sonny. I mean, at this point, you tell the parents, right? Because the child is missing and hanging from a building. Looking for something. Come on, let's go. Oh, you tried one of these? What? Mmm. <laughs> I've got to get this recipe. Mm. <gasps> Do you happen to know the name of the caterer? Didn't mean to spring it on you like this. It's. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, just hold on, okay? Joe, Brad, loosen the rope. Sarah, grab the rope. That's the most exciting thing that's happened all night. Oh! Hey, real close. Don't guys, worry. guys, no. guys. Holy crap. Are you okay? Yeah. Can we go home now? Not yet. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you, all right? I just need the Playboy. See, this is what they were after. <laughs> Nope. Don't say it. Pretty uncanny, huh? <laughs> nah, she don't even compare to you. Oh. Help! Leave him hanging out there for a while. Let him sweat it out. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Give me the magazine and get out of here. I'll take care of the children. <clears throat> yeah! You're right. Babysitting is dangerous. <laughs> Now we gotta race the parents home! Oh, we gotta get Brenda first. You know, her and... Her and Brad could actually be brother and sister. not your parents' car, is it? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Everybody duck! Look at that lunatic. You know, Brad and Sarah are going to be driving soon. They're going to be on the road with people like that. <laughs> Upstairs now, in your pajamas. Brenda, go home. Oh, no, I don't want to go home. Call you tomorrow. Come on. Ferris Bueller status. See, babysitters back then and in my era, we, we cleaned up. I feel like babysitters nowadays have not been taught properly or something. Should You should leave it. Nicer than you found it. Just saying. Hi, Chris. Any problems? No, not really. Well, Brad stayed home and Daryl's sleeping over. What a nightmare for you. <laughs> Everything is cool. <gasps> Chris, can we do this again next week? <laughs> I think I'm retired. Oh, come on, you gotta sit for me again. We'll see, okay? I know that seniors don't normally hang out with freshmen. So if I see you around school and I say hi and you ignore me as usual, it's okay. I don't ignore friends. <laughs> Chris, I'd just like to say thanks for giving me probably the greatest night of my life. <laughs> me too. Me too. Drive safely. I will, thanks. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> Hi. I thought the little girl might be missing this. You came all the way out here just to return this? Actually, I was asking... Oh, oh, you came for the money. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm looking for a babysitter. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think tonight was my last job. It's too bad. Who is the babysitter for? Me. <laughs> what a line. <laughs> Maybe retirement can wait. Yes, <laughs> oh, Brad. He kissed me. What an ending. I think I love Elizabeth. She just like all you guys. 
Well, that was so fun. The perfect start to November and being done with scary movies. It felt nostalgic, even though I've never seen it before. And I love when movies can make me feel like that and transport you to a different time. This was like 90s and I mean, I know it was in the 80s, but for me, it felt like 90s and babysitting and she was so beautiful and girl next door at the same time as being like, not a girl you walk all over and it had a sweet ending and the kids were cute and I I said in the reaction it has all the tropes but like it made it work and that's what made it fun. It was just enjoyable in every way. I know that if I would have watched this as a kid or teenager I would have been able to rewatch it over and over and over. Carly and I used to rent the Babysitter's Club every single time we went to the video store. So I can see this one being up there too. Okay, thank you to our trivia winner for picking that one for me. It really was so charming. Tell me if you watched this as a kid below and what your craziest babysitting story was. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks.